Frank the Tank, made his slap fight debut at our inaugural event and has since become a stalwart at heavyweight, finishing second in all four heavyweight tournaments. Earlier this year, Frank decided to try his hand at super heavyweight, and this is his quarterfinal matchup versus the Hammer from the 2020 Super Heavyweight Tournament. Welcome to the first round of the Super Heavyweight Slap Fight Championship. I'm your host for the evening, the Space Cowboy, Jason Jones, introducing first tonight in this round one, set for seven rounds or submission, double elimination tournament. He weighed in at 300 pounds, standing in at five foot 10, from Joplin, Missouri, Logan, the Hammer, yeah. your! <laughs> and introducing his opponent, he is our viral sensation, weighing in at 275 pounds, standing in at five foot 10, from Fulton, Missouri, but loved by millions around the world, Frank the Tank! <laughs> Your official, Kyron Bowen. Welcome to the quarterfinal round of the Slap Fight Super Heavyweight Tournament. Up first, we have newcomer, The Hammer, taking on Frank the Tank. All right, folks, let's take a look at the rules of Slap Fight. First off, no clubbing. All competitors must land their strikes with an open hand. The heel of the hand may make contact but cannot extend past the chin. Next, no stepping. Feet must be planted shoulder width apart and there can be no pivoting or stepping when striking. And finally, no flinching. Small reactions are allowed, but any movement that affects the power of the strike is a foul. All right, as always, our lead official tonight is professional fighter Kyron Bowen, and we're gonna listen into his coin toss. Hence it is. Okay, Frank the Tank wins the coin toss. He's gonna strike first. This matchup is scheduled for seven rounds. This is a quarterfinal matchup. Semifinals will also be seven rounds, and our finals will be unlimited rounds. One, two, three. Good shot from Frank the Tank, a little bit high. I don't think that's gonna be a violation, but it might be just a little bit of a wasted shot here in round one. Now each one of our contestants has 60 seconds to regain their composure and return to the barrel after being slapped. Looks like the hammer is gonna go ahead and return early. And here's your wind up for the bottom of round one. one. Two, three! Woo! <laughs> Quite a bit of power from the hammer, but it looks like we might have the line judge stepping in here. For hammer, as you took your slap, your foot took a big okay. step to the left. Okay, okay, so it looks like a stepping violation against the hammer. And there you can see it as he, yeah, as he swings, you can see a little bit of a step there. That's illegal here at Slap Fight, so that's a violation. He's gonna receive an official warning, and if it happens again, the hammer will lose a turn. One, two, three! Big shot from Frank the Tank. The hammer goes stumbling back into his corner, man. Tonight, the hammer is cornered by his brother. And uh, again, it looks like the hammer does not need the break. One thing about Frank the Tank is kind of a menacing, kind of a menacing strategy with Frank the Tank here. He just stares defiantly at his competition when he's fighting. by the look on the hammer's face that there's a lot of power behind those strikes. That's one thing we know about Frank the Tank as well. There's a lot of power. One, Here's our wind up, round three. Two, three. Oh, good Whoa. Lord. Cotton ball goes flying. back again. Looks like he's lost just a little bit of his equilibrium here. He's gonna have a conversation with his corner man. Okay, looks like we're gonna replace the cotton ball in Hammer's ear. Each one of our contestants always wear cotton balls in their ears to protect their eardrums from damage. You know, you really see the resemblance between the Hammer and his brother there. It's uncanny. 
Okay, Frank the Tank waiting for the hammer. Doing a little arm swing there. And here we go with the bottom of round three. Okay, we've got us a fight here, ladies and gentlemen. I can see just a little bit of swelling on the left cheek of the hammer. That's gonna be a factor if we continue all the way through this fight. Frank the Tank with the windup. Okay, looks like that one might have made a dent there. The hammer's still a little bit unsure. Does he want to continue? This might be the end of our match. The hammer's definitely thinking about it. Got a lot on his mind here. Looks like he might be stepping back up to the barrel. Okay. He's still in it. One, Here we go with round four. Two, three. Not a bad strike. Not his best strike of the match, but not bad. At this point, we've got a battle of attrition going. Which one of these fighters is willing to take it? And which one of these fighters is looking for a way out? Oh my God! The hammer staggers down, caught by his brother. Holy smokes! I don't know if you can hear that slap through video, but my gosh, that, that echoed through the entire building. The hammer looks like he's having a hard time staying on his feet now. Quite a bit of swelling on the left side of his face. This might be a win for Frank the Tank, ladies and gentlemen. Always a respectful yeah. opponent. Frank the Tank is probably one of the three or four most seconds. popular athletes we've ever had competing here at Slap Fight. Tens of millions of views on the internet. Fans all around the world. Everybody loves Frank the Tank except possibly the hammer right now. Now look at the size of the forearms on the hammer. Good Lord, arms look like legs. Two, three. Okay, he's still got a little bit of power here. Frank staggers back again. We're heading into round six. Again, this is a seven round fight. So if there's not a finish in this next round and a half, we're gonna go to the judges scorecards for the decision. What's uh, Frank is telling the hammer to stop taking his mouthpiece out. It's making his cheeks swell. I'd just like to point out he waited until round six to say anything about that. One, two, three. Oh my God, big shot from Frank the Tank. That might be the end of the match. Oh my gosh, Hammer has had his bell rung. All right, the officials are taking a good look at Frank, excuse me, at the Hammer. This may be the end of the match, folks. This looks a little bit unsafe. He's thinking about it. I think this might be it. Okay, thankfully the hammer decides that's the end of the match. We've got a winner, folks, Frank the Tank. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner advancing into the next round of the tournament, Frank the Tank! Man, you are no stranger to the Slap Fight Championship, but a first round win over Newcomer the Hammer. Listen, you rocked him a few times, but I saw he got a couple good ones on you. How hard does this man hit? It's pretty hard. Does he, does he earn the name the Hammer? Oh yeah. Absolutely, and he found out why they call him the Tank. Advancing in our next round of the Super Heavyweight Championship, your winner, Frank the Tank. Congratulations. Yeah. With that sixth round TKO of the hammer, 
Frank the Tank advances to the semifinals of the Slap Fight Championship Tournament. Stay tuned to see what becomes of Frank the Tank's run at the American Slap Fight Super Heavyweight Championship. Super heavyweight standout, the Highlander, entered the slap fight tournament and was seemingly on a crash course with fellow Missouri native Frank the Tank. The two super heavyweights and close friends both had eyes on the slap fight championship, and fans were anxiously awaiting the likely duel between the two. First, however, the Highlander must get past BMF, a giant six foot five man from Humboldt, Kansas. Next up, Highlander versus BMF. Welcome back to the semifinals of the Super Heavyweight Slap Fight Championship. As both fighters enter the barrel, introducing first tonight, standing in at six foot one, weighing in at 340 pounds, from Green Ridge, Missouri, he is the Highlander, Whoa! John Highlander! And his opponent standing in at six foot five, weighing in at 285 pounds from Humboldt, Kansas, the BMF, yeah. Jerry yeah. Lowry. All right, fight fans, it looks like we're all set for our semifinal fight. We've got the Highlander versus BMF. And BMF wins the coin toss. All right, now the winner of this semifinal fight will go to face Frank the Tank. A lot of people would love to see Frank the Tank face Highlander. They are good friends and they are both from the state of Missouri. But Highlander has a big test ahead of him now. The Highlander takes a big slap, bends him over the barrel a little bit, still on his feet. And now he has 60 seconds to see if he wants to continue. Very impressive slap from BMF, though. All right, here we go. Bottom of round one. Here's your wind up. Okay, looks like the line judge is stepping in here. Okay, we're going to give Highlander a warning here for stepping. Uh, once again, you cannot move or pivot your feet when striking, and I think that's just going to be a friendly warning there for Highlander. If he steps again, he will lose a turn. BMF's corner man's gonna replace the cotton ball in his ear. All of our contestants wear cotton balls in their air to avoid rupture. And nobody makes it look better than BMF. One, two, three! Oh, good shot from, oh! BMF goes down and takes a seat in round one. Holy smokes. Woo! Gonna have a conversation with his corner man while he's down there. Looks like he's okay. All right, he's back to the barrel. Here we go. Folks, don't try this at home. These are two big men with massive hands. We're looking at some serious power here in this tournament. And I'll tell you right now, I have no idea who's gonna walk away with this victory. Here we go with round two. BMF checks his placement. One, two, three. Another big shot from BMF. And Highlander eats it, stares him down. Okay, no break for Highlander. And here we go with the bottom of round two. That's a tough one. Islanders hurt. Excuse me, BMF is hurt. Excuse me. Okay, he's going to have a conversation with his corner man here. Corner man's encouraging him to take his time. You can see just a little bit of swelling, just a little bit of swelling on the left cheek of BMF. 
serious conversation here with the corner man. I'm not sure they're going to continue. Okay, there it is, folks. BMF reluctantly throws in the towel, and we have a winner. Congratulations, Highlander, advancing to the final round of the Slap Fight Tournament. All right, now the winner going forward is going to be the Highlander, John Highlander. But listen, let me tell you, he almost rocked you pretty good. The BMF, Jerry Lowry, big things from Humboldt, Kansas. Thanks for being a part of this. Going forward, man, what would advice would you have to anybody wanting to sign up and try Slap Fight Championship? Don't lose the coin toss. <laughs> yeah, don't lose the coin toss. Don't lose the coin toss. You got it, man. <laughs> Big round of applause for the BMF, Jerry Lowry. With both Frank the Tank and the Highlander advancing in the tournament bracket with dominant wins, Slap fans worldwide were delighted at the opportunity to see these two go head to head at the Slap Fight Barrel. Unfortunately, Slap Fight promoters had bad news for Frank the Tank. Frank the Tank, you had a big first round win against the newcomer, the Hammer, and you would be going on, moving on in this tournament to face the newcomer named the Highlander. However, I've been given some news that the promoter will not allow you to go on because of the previous injury. I know that's got to upset you. Yeah. So, I mean, I know you've worked hard for this, you've trained hard for this, but he will not allow you to continue because he doesn't want to see any long-term damage to you, and I have to understand that, but I also have to understand your frustration, man. What's on your head? Well, I mean, we got to congratulate the promoter for keeping his fighters safe sure. and taking care of us. And Maybe I'll come back and do another one. Man, we can't wait to have you back. <laughs> Big round of applause for Frank the Tank. Not wanting to disappoint their fans, Highlander and Frank agreed with Slap Fight promoters to return and face each other after Frank the Tank had made a full recovery. A few months later, with both competitors at 100%, the Missouri natives plan to meet back at the barrel to fight for home state bragging rights. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Slap Fight Championship presents the Highlander versus Frank the Tank. Who will become the people's champ? I mean, if you're asking like some kind of training, I really don't. Um... It's one of those things like, uh, you know, trying to get prepared to get knocked out. Like the worst punch you ever had is the one you didn't see coming. Like, you know, there's not really a way you can prepare yourself to get slapped by somebody who's almost your size, maybe a little bigger. I mean, it, you can't really train for it. I don't see myself as a knockout artist. I've got the power to do it. Um, still kind of perfecting the technique a little bit. Uh, win by tap out. I've, I've won by tap out before. I didn't like it. I'd rather just knock the crap out of the guy. Biggest inspiration sport, that's my buddy Frank. Uh, Frank and I, we get along really well. And uh, he comes out, he gives a great show. He's always a great guy to work with. And uh, probably one of the best guys in the sport so far. What separates me from the other fighters is my chin. Uh, honestly, I try and knock people out, but if they give up, they give up. Uh, my nickname's always been Frank the Tank to push myself further and be better every day. Welcome to the Super Heavyweight Slap Fight Contest in this special attraction bout. Introducing first to my left, weighing in at 350 pounds, from Green Ridge, Missouri, the Highlander! <laughs> his opponent weighing in at 280 pounds from Fulton, Missouri, Frank the Tank! <laughs> Your official, Karen Bowen! Yeah. All right, folks, let's take a look at the rules of slap fight. First off, no clubbing. All competitors must land their strikes with an open hand. The heel of the hand may make contact, but cannot extend past the chin. Next, no stepping. Feet must be planted shoulder width apart, and there can be no pivoting or stepping when striking. And finally, no flinching. Small reactions are allowed, but any movement that affects the power of the strike is a foul.
coin toss goes to Highlander. He will strike first. One thing we know about Highlander is that he does have one slap knockout power. In his last outing against BMF, he knocked out a six foot five, 275 pound giant with one shot. We also know, however, that Frank has one of the best chins in the game. So this ought to be an exciting matchup. Here we go. Big shot from Highlander to start the match. And Frank the Tank eats it and returns to the barrel. Now Frank likes to push the pace, so you might not see a lot of breaks here. Big shot from Frank. I don't know, that looked a little bit low. And it looks like the officials are gonna give Frank a warning for clubbing. Anytime your heel of your hand passes your opponent's jawline, that is gonna be a club and that's illegal at slap fight. First club is a warning. Second club will be the loss of a turn for Frank. One, Round two. two three, Another big shot from Highlander. Okay, we're going to replace the cotton ball here. The cotton ball is in each one of our contestants here to protect their eardrums from damage. One, Bottom around two. two three, Another solid oh, shot from Frank the Tank. A little bit high, but that's not a foul. Frank needs to be careful, though. He's been known to break his hand during competition, and I can actually see that he's shaking his right hand around now, so we need to watch that. That could prove to be a problem in later rounds. Siding in for round three. Here's your windup. Big shot. Knocks Frank back a few feet. You can see it on you can see it on Frank's face that that one hurt. But again, he's going to push the pace. Let's see if he can find his target. Now this matchup may not necessarily be over. We have seen Highlander stand up from heavy strikes before. 45 seconds. The rules at Slap Fight Championship state that if you're knocked down, you have 60 seconds to return to the barrel or it will be a TKO. Highlander has to clear the cobwebs, stand up and return fire. If he cannot, this will be a win for Frank the Tank. Let's listen in. There you have it, folks. That's it. We've got a winner, Frank the Tank, in round three by TKO. A little bit of sportsmanship, and now let's listen in. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Frank the Tank. Don't go anywhere here, Frank. Now, that was a big, big knockout right there. 280 pounds from Fulton, Missouri. Frank, you are a viral sensation. You lead the way with Slap Fight Championship. How was the opponent in the Highlander today, man? It looks like he rocked you a couple times. Oh, yeah. He hits like a super heavyweight. He hits like a super heavyweight. There you have it for your winner, folks. Frank the Tank! Yeah. Highlander. Now, listen. That's your first time against Frank the Tank. Did he earn his nickname today? Yeah, he sure did. He, he has like one. Hey, you got him with a couple good ones, so nothing to be ashamed of. How about a big round of applause for the Highlander? <laughs> Stay tuned for more Slap Fight Championship. With that third round TKO of Highlander, Frank the Tank continues his onslaught on the Slap Fight Super Heavyweight Division. Stay tuned to this channel to see what becomes of Frank's run at the Super Heavyweight Championship. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Slap Fight on all social media and support the growth of American Slap Fighting. My name is JT Tilly, and you've been watching Slap Fight. There is only one.